How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to build a nitrous 540 cubic inch big block Chevy. Before we get started with this engine build, let me know if you were getting a 540 cubic inch big block Chevy, would you put a blower on top of it or spray it with a bunch of nitrous? The foundation of this build started out as our 540 cubic inch cruiser engine, but then quickly snowballed into a 700 horsepower nitrous machine. The foundation of this build is a GM bowtie engine block. I really like this block because it has Siamese cast bores, 4.5 inch, and it also has a one piece rear main seal. This is the block we use in all of our 540 builds. To make 700 horsepower naturally aspirated, we optioned for a really trick billet steel hydraulic roller comp cam that has a cast melanized distributor gear pressed onto the back. That way we can run heavy spring pressure to turn enough RPM with this camshaft without running the risk of grooving it, but still be compatible with regular GM distributor gears. We're going to run our Smetting Power Adder H-Beam 4340 forged big block Chevy connecting rod with an Icon forged piston that has the rings gapped for a nitrous application. The crankshaft is our standard four and a quarter stroke one piece rear seal crank. One piece rear seal basically means that the rear main seal is one solid piece instead of being split into two shells or two housings. The main bearing clearance on this engine is about 2.5 thou. The rod journals came in at about 2.3 thousandths and for the rings we're running 27 on the top and 30 on the second. Shea has already blueprinted and prepped this entire engine for building so now it's time for the time lapse and we can watch him put it together.
Coming in for a quick one last look before Shea seals up this big block Chevy 540 cubic inch nitrous deal. It's all assembled with our forged components looking super sick. Shea's about to install this Moroso oil pan with the matching pickup tube. These pickup tubes are pretty cool. They get hammered into the pump, but then they actually are captured by a bolt, so there's no way they can possibly come out. So it is almost wrapped up, and then it's time to put cylinder heads together and set up the valve train. Here the short block is all finished up and ready for our top end. We're going to run our Gatorman link bar hydraulic roller lifters. This engine is going to run our 360 cc big block Chevy cylinder head with custom valve springs looking super nice. So those are going to go on the motor right now and then Shay's going to set up the valve train.
just like that, a 700 horsepower nitrous big block Chevy is born. We're gonna dyno this engine, break it in, make sure everything is super healthy, and then it is ready to go to the customer. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.